Well, hello there. Good morning. Welcome back. Leah here, Doers Nation. And I wanted to start this video off first by welcoming you, of course, to my channel, and then also thanking you for watching my videos and supporting me throughout this journey. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. This is going to help me be able to make more content for you. And the whole purpose of this channel is, of course, to leave a good impression on this world. So if you could help a girl out, I would appreciate that greatly. Now, I haven't made a morning routine video in quite some time, and that is 100% unacceptable. So I thought that I would share my morning routine with you this morning. Now, a lot of people ask me where I get my energy. And I'll be honest with you, it is not a natural thing. This comes with a whole lot of discipline. And with discipline comes routine. And with routine, you know, you get yourself in a routine and it's a heck of a lot easier to follow it. So if you start today, you are starting a new routine and you, my friend, are worth it. I wanted to remind all of you that you are awesome. As soon as that you decide that you are awesome, God created you to be exactly who you are and he never makes mistakes. So take a look at yourself in the mirror, point at yourself and tell yourself that you are fabulous because you are. And I think so, I know God knows so, and we can make the best of every single day. I just know it. And if I can help you in any way, I am always here to do that. I am going to share my morning routine with you today. And of course, it always starts with Java the Cup, black coffee, baby, yum. And then I get started on a morning workout routine and I do all of my morning devotionals. That's usually followed by making a list for all of the things that I need to accomplish throughout my day so that I can check those puppies off and feel accomplished. So let's get started on the morning routine and I hope that this helps you to set a better schedule for yourself so that you can have an energy packed productive day as well. Again, because you deserve it. Thank you again for watching this video. And of course, you can't forget to stretch. It's like stretching a balloon before you blow it up. It makes it so much better. So don't forget to stretch. And then you can work it hard and work it hard and work it hard. Yep, I'm only going to show you a small portion of my workout routine, but I am currently doing insanity and it's a little bit insane. I will be happy to share some essential workouts that I have learned throughout the years in a later video. But for now, I'm doing some ski jumps. Oh, and high knees, high knees, high knees. <laughs> it almost sounds like high knees. That's funny. Sorry, not sorry. Let's finish this off right. Well, folks, I just got done with my morning workout and the next part of my morning routine is all of my devotional readings. And this really gets my heart in the right place so that I can attack the day with God's love instead of the fear of the world. And this morning during my workout, I have been a little bit scared that while I was working out due to the very shallow ceilings in my house, I might catch a finger on my fan blade and I accomplished that this morning. So as you can see, I did boo-boo up my finger a little bit, but I muscled through the workout and got it done. So I'm really excited that I get to share God's word with you this morning because I have found in my life that it really sets a foundation for a phenomenal day. And I don't know if some of you realize this, but the name Doer's Nation is actually derived from some Bible verses. And the whole 
the whole meaning of this channel is to be a doer of the word instead of just a hearer of the word. So I really hope that you guys through this channel have seen the expression of Jesus through me. Now, I recently actually started a new devotional book and it's titled 15 Minutes Alone with God. And I have found such great value in this book and the readings that accompany each of my morning devotionals. So this morning's readings and the title to this is God's Gift. And I'm not sure if you guys realize, but each and every one of you are a gift from God. And I hope that you guys can see how you are a child of God and he loves you unlike any worldly father could possibly love you. Now, my dad, he is such a great example of God's love because he loves me unconditionally and unrelenting. And if you don't have that experience, just know that God will wrap you in his arms as soon as you come to him. And we're going to read some verses this morning that are going to reflect that love to you so that you can feel like an, a loved, unconditional, reckless love from God each and every day so that you don't have to look for it in the world. All right, so our scripture readings for today are from John 10, 10 through 18. So let me turn there. Again, that is John chapter 10, verses 10 through 18. John chapter 10, verses 10 through 18. And this section in the Bible is titled, The Good Shepherd and His Sheep. The first verse here, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it in full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my Father loves me is that I lay down my life, only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. And this is Jesus. Jesus is talking to the Pharisees in these verses. And as you all know, he did lay his life down for you. That's how much Jesus loves you. We are no longer judged by worldly law, but by the love of Jesus and by just following the shepherd, we have passage into heaven. And what a gift we are given. What love we are given. That is unconditional. That is unrelenting, reckless love. To lay down your life for your child. Us. Me. You. That's how much Jesus loves you. So if you didn't know that before today, just know that you are wrapped in his arms and you are loved every single day. And through that, you should love yourself enough to express that love outwardly to every single person that you guys meet. I hope and I pray that Jesus' love is expressed through this channel and that you guys see that light within me. That is my goal. So I'm not going to burden you too much with more time, but I am going to tell you to get out there, be a doer, and share your light with the world. Larry, what do you think? He thinks you should too. And I love you guys. I hope that you feel that today, tomorrow, and every single day. 
And if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I would love to be able to share my light with more people and have the opportunity to make more content for you. What do you think, Lair Bear? Do you think they should? He thinks you should too. So again, I love you and I will see you on the next one. Be the light for everybody that you come in contact with today. Bye.